When we return on In Focus, we'll talk more about how religious organizations deal with hunger. Many faith-based organizations are finding creative and innovative ways of dealing with the issue. Angie Wright-Reeves tells us about one such ministry in the Grant Park area of Atlanta. On February 28, 1991, 13 families in need of food met and launched the very first Georgia Avenue Food Cooperative. Today that food cooperative has evolved into four food co-ops serving 110 tons of food to over 200 needy families. Reverend Chad Hell was the pastor of the Georgia Avenue Presbyterian Church in 1991 and felt the need of the community. We always have a Wednesday meal here. We've done that for many years, more than three decades now. A free meal for whoever wants to walk in off the streets. So we had some conversations with people that were coming to those meals and uh, we decided together we would form, give the co-op a try. The co-op operates on the notion that those in need are the ones who work to distribute the food and keep the organization operational. We get a chance to work hand on hand with one another and we all volunteer to fill the boxes up with the food, get the boxes off the truck. We call it a co-op because based on the idea of cooperation, working together in a sense of building community, finding that need for food that we all have and using that then as a gathering point to try to build community as opposed to what many folks would have as a food pantry where people would come and at certain points you distribute food and you could get a bag of food or box, whatever they have. We wanted to use it as a, not only as a meeting the need of food, but a gathering together around that need and working together. So um, ours is a model of cooperation, of working together. So the families who need the food and receive the food are the ones who do all the work of dividing it up and do all that, as opposed to most pantry models that are based on volunteers from churches and stuff. This is all based on the co-op members doing all the work. The Georgia Avenue Food Cooperative provides quality food for a number of families. We have, at this point, at Georgia Avenue Community Ministry, four different food cooperatives. Those four co-ops each have a membership of about 50 families. Each co-op meets every other week, and persons pay $2 to join, and $2 every time we meet, if they can afford it. Otherwise, they do some extra work to work that $2 off. Um, the food is primarily from the Atlanta Community Food Bank, and we do buy fresh fruits and vegetables from the state farmer's market. The food is divided upon arrival, and members receive a specific portion based on family size. We work for our little box and, and um, see that everybody gets an equal amount of food, and everybody seems to enjoy doing that. The Georgia Avenue Food Cooperative first started with a staff of two, but with four co-ops now in operation, the number of staff has grown. All of our coordinators, the way we originally set it up is each food co-op would have two coordinators, and except for the first one, which my partner Brian Loring and I began because we were the only staff here, so we coordinated it, and we didn't have further funds to hire any other people to do it. But since that time, every co-op is formed by hiring members within the co-ops that already existed. So all of our staff members have come from the ranks from our co-op members. And though this, the jobs themselves are, are part-time, we endeavor to pay a living wage as far as hourly wage goes. So for the time that people spend on it, they're paid a good wage and, and they see their work as a ministry and they're very faithful to it and very good at it. When I get to the food bank is I'll pick the best food they have for that day because it's, you never know what you're going to get when you get there. So a lot of times we, I think in terms of families and what family needs for their children, cereal, grits, um, meats, you know, things that I know are expensive if I can find them. So I try to think in terms of what I would feed my family is what I try to get for other people and their families. A co-op has a different atmosphere than other food distribution efforts. Like a fellowship and we get to network and talk with people and most of all we get food that we need that is important and very nutritious to help our family. It's a gathering together. That's for many folks, they don't have a lot of places. We have a lot of seniors in the co-op and some of the high-rises around here, and this is like a getting out for them this week and coming by and taking part in that 
have two women on my street who are in it. I have to drive them over on their co-op, and they wouldn't miss it for the world. They're knocking on my door early in the morning. We ready to go? <laughs> Here we have a relationship. We have become an extended family. I've been going around this morning explaining where one of our members is because everybody want to know where is that person, and that make it more like a family when you're concerned with your brothers and sisters and their well-being, and that's what we have here. We have devotion, and a lot of times we have things on our, you know, that's bothering us, and we can come here and talk about it, and you can feel, you get a hug, you know. Sometimes you may just need that hug that morning, and somebody come in and give you a big hug, and it makes a big difference in the way your day goes. So that's what we experience in these co-ops, is the togetherness, and you can't have a community without unity, and we have a lot of unity within these co-ops. Not only does this worthwhile organization feed the physical body, but it also feeds the spiritual body as well. We have spiritual readings, prayers, we sing, we preach, and sometimes it fills me up, makes my day, not only for food, but spiritual-wise. Food becomes a vehicle for creating community and support for people in ways that they didn't already have it. It also, in our case, works, since we're a faith-based Christian organization, we use it as a way as well to strengthen people in their faith, although we do not require anybody to be a Christian, nor do we coerce people to become Christians once they become members. But we do it in the name of the Lord, and we hope we do that graciously, and we open the doors to anybody in need as long as we have the capacity to serve them. Right. The Georgia Avenue Food Cooperative is a much needed service for this very deserving community. It's important because so many people, there are so many different types of food that you wouldn't be able to get if you had to go to the store and buy it. So in this way, you give something back and you get something in return.